before I left for New York, I had ordered and received <clears throat> these quick release plates uh, for the camera. What I plan on doing is but put attaching these in different areas like inside the truck and in the trailer and on the trailer to hold the camera. Uh, and this one I had ordered separate uh, from a guy in China that um, was supposed to come with the plate and it didn't. So I sent him a message before I left. And, um, now I just realized I lost that plate already. So let me find that. Here it is. So I sent him a message and said that uh, you know it was supposed to come with the the plate, and he sent one right away. So I'll make sure to give him some uh, good feedback. I'm a little fidgety from uh, all the caffeine I drank this morning. Um, so I'll be able to have five different spots where the camera can go. And all I need to do, yeah, that, that, that works nice. Beautiful. Um, all I have to do is attach this now to the bottom of the camera, and I'll have, you know, five different spots I can put it. Um, actually, it'll end up being three different spots because I have tripods that I'm going to somehow have to uh, modify to. Uh, put these on two of the tripods because um, the one like right now the camera's sitting on one and it doesn't it's not compatible with these so um, I'm gonna have to figure something out with that you should be able to screw it on but mine's different uh, um, it doesn't work like that it's got it's got its own little setup but yeah so the project for today is to I'm gonna try and figure out a way to uh, cut those tripod heads up this is another project of mine I'll probably that'll probably be a separate video but that's gonna be my handheld steady cam but I bought um, these and I thought I might just screw them on top but if I can if I can um, modify these to make this work with that plate, um, then that basically frees up two of those to go somewhere else. So we'll give it a shot. Uh, it's doing good. It's down in New York right now. Uh-huh. Working on it. Yeah. yeah. I gotta go back down and uh, do a little more work to it, but... What are you planning on doing with it? Like, where are you going? All over. All over? Yeah. Are you going to, like, like uh, live in your RV for a while? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go as long as I can. Really? Yeah. I've been um, looking up on the internet. Yeah. Um, about a lot of uh, people uh -huh. who do that, and uh, what they do is they put solar 
solar energy, and they live off the solar. But it costs around four thousand dollars for just a small one. Solar yeah. Thing to put on the RV. Yeah, solar panels are something I I would like to have. I don't think I'll. I might get there. I don't know. Yeah. You could do it for cheaper than that, but. Really? Yeah. But you got to do more work. You have to basically have to make your own panels. See the the thing is. I plan on actually doing that. I'm thinking of it. Yeah. But not until I'm 70. So I'm going to be an old lady traveling by myself. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people do it though. That's yeah, when they I do know. it. You know? <coughs> but mostly it's couples who does it. You know? I think you'd be surprised. Really? Yeah. Now, I want to do that, but you know, I don't have a lot of money and I'm not a handy person. Yeah, it's helpful to be handy. Yeah, I'm not handy. Never was. You know, so that's the only thing I worry about. Yeah. Uh, because <coughs> if you don't have money and you're handy, you can do it yourself. But if you're not handy and you don't have a lot of money, you have to hire somebody to help you do it. You know, so. Yep. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. But I'm... I'm going to wait until I'm 70 or 72 before I do something like that. Yeah. But I will sell this and go. And go. Yeah, well, the thing is, you know, if you don't do it when you're 70, you're never going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah. Anyhow, let me know how things go. You oh, yeah, I will. And everything? What's that? Coming back and everything? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Let me I'll know be... how things go. I will, absolutely. Yep. Oh, that's why you wear goggles. Damn it. Oh, that might just, that's pretty close. things. Whoa, let's put you upside down. So there it is, it's riveted in. Uh, I just used a pop rivet and a little washer. Uh, <clears throat> so <laughs> I hope this is gonna work. I should be able to drop that in, tighten it up. Yeah, that should, I mean, I'm not going to use this for any crazy high wind scenarios or, you know, hanging this over a cliff or anything, but 
um, it holds it on there pretty steady. So I'm happy. On to the next one. The next one's going to be different, though difficult. The, the one that's holding the camera now is all aluminum. This was plastic. So it cut easy. I was able to shape it really easy. Um, you know, I shaped the plastic in here just a little bit, whatever. So I'm not going to video the next one. I don't have enough memory. I only have one, one card. So I'll just show you when I'm done. Here we have the my main tripod out of all aluminum and I started to cut one of the sides of the quick release plate. This next picture shows the tabs all ground down, cut off. Uh, different profile, you have to cut an angle on the left side there. Here's another view from the top and the quick release uh, removed. This next picture I'm showing the two part epoxy that I'm using. Um, it, the angle of the aluminum wasn't, the profile was different so I thought the easiest way to, to make a nice fitting profile would be to use a two part epoxy and uh, pretty much just set the plate in there and and then allow it to dry. That was the plan. When you're embedding something into epoxy, what you want to do is coat, liberally coat your the area with foil. So that's uh, what I'm showing you there. The plate is now embedded in and clamped down tight. I have both sides coated with epoxy and the whole plate is coated with uh, oil. Um, so I let that sit for about 20 minutes or so. After the epoxy I know is good and hard, um, then uh, I pull out the plate. Uh, basically just unlock it and if the oil did its job, the plate should release out without much of a hassle, which it did in this case. And here it is with the tab, the metal tab that um, holds it in. Uh, I couldn't just pop rivet it in. I had to drill out a hole, um, cut it, and then um, screw it in with a screw. Um, but I think it, it should hold so by doing this uh, I've been able to save two quick release plates to go somewhere else that I wouldn't be able to put uh, had I not done this so all in all I think it was worth the time and effort and I'm sure at some point I will um, do a test of these maybe videotape doing a test of the tripods and the other quick release plates whenever I I'll probably do that whenever I set up the other quick release plates um, might not do it all at once but one way or another these things will definitely be put to the test whether or not I videotape it um, I'm gonna be using this stuff a lot so until next time have a good one